This purple Holland bell pepper have been historically been growing in the Netherlands. And also some more information on this pepper. Cultivated the peppers in hot houses under controlled temperature and light was pioneered allowed for consistent fruit size, dense flesh and high higher yields. Alright, so I bought this plant with these two peppers. They were very young. The other one I'm going to leave to get to that nice purple color. And I'm going to use that one that I just picked to create a nice salad. But I'm also going to set the seeds from this to, to show you how I got this plant from one of those seeds. So come on in the kitchen, let's go. Hi, hi. So in the video when I was starting this, you all saw how I pick my pepper first pepper from my tree yay <laughs> i just find this pepper so fascinating you know like oh my gosh anyway so i really want to save those seeds and get some more plants out of this so i didn't plant that tree from seed or anything i bought the plant and so so i want to set some more seed you know, you might have a container or something in your garden that just works every time for you. And I don't know. I don't, I don't know if this works. It is with you all. But for me, it's like everything I set in this simple little plastic jar. Uh, yeah. It's like every time I set something in this container, it always flourishes. So <laughs> I would just put it. So let's save these pepper seeds. So I'm gonna dry some, all right? And I'm going to plant some. Let's see which one we will get the best from. So, I mean, it will always work if the seeds is dry. So I'm gonna dry the greater portion of it for about a week. And we don't have too much seeds here, but we're gonna work what we got. So I'm not gonna put too much. Right, I'm gonna save a little bit here and put in there, and the rest we're gonna put to dry, right? So I'm just gonna put about four or five. I don't wanna put too much. All right. So let me show you all what I put. I don't wanna put too much. Right. I use an organic rooting powder you can just blend up some eggshells and use that and my soil is basically uh, branches from outside and my coconut tree and some topsoil i mix everything together and i place it in this container as i mentioned how successful this little plastic container has been for me <laughs> always successful when planting in this container and giving it a little bit of water not too much and I have to say, before really starting this process, I did as much research as I can because I really want to be successful with this plant because it's a strange pepper to me. And I want to see how best I can get the perfect result. So, my people, I would keep you all updated on how this plant is going. Now, this plant I'm showing you is the plant that I got the seeds from. I'm just all right. So, thanks for watching. Stay blessed. And don't forget to check out all of my other links that you're seeing on your screen right now. Again, thanks for always stopping by and lending your awesome eyes and hands and smiles and love. Bye.